Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will understand operator overloading concept in Python. To understand operator overloading, uh, we will consider a class named money with attributes uh, rupees and paise. We will try to overload the operators plus minus greater than equal to so that they may be used on two objects. Also, uh, we will write functions so that desired amount of uh, money can be either added, subtracted from money class. So first we will do one thing, uh, we will create a class uh, named money and then uh, we will write an uh, constructor, let us say that uh, def underscore underscore init underscore underscore uh, it will take the self object self dot uh, r uh, which will represent a rupee will be set to zero self dot uh, p which indicates paise set to zero now uh, we will write one method let us say that uh, set value uh, which will take again self object uh, which is used to set the uh, value of uh, rupee and paise so self dot r is equal to r so it has to take two more parameters let us say that the rupee as well as paisa similarly self dot r not rp is equal to p here now uh, we will overload the plus operator here for that one uh, we will write a method called as def underscore underscore add underscore underscore which will take uh, the self object as well as one more object let us say m here now we will try to add the self object uh, to m in this case so first we will create one temporary object of type uh, money and then temp dot r temp dot r uh, is equal to self dot r plus m dot r here similarly temp dot p is equal to self dot uh, p plus m dot p now there is one problem what we may face is uh, for example if the paisa that's a self dot p is equal to 50 and m dot p is equal to 60 it will become 110 so that is not correct so what we do here is we will check whether temp dot p is greater than or equal to 100 if so what we do is temp dot p is equal to temp dot p minus 100 will do that is 110 minus 100 it will become 10 paisa that's perfectly fine because we have subtracted 100 temp dot r is equal to temp dot r must be incremented by 1 to p so that is a very important thing we need to remember then we will return uh, temp here the same concept uh, we will use it for subtraction also so i will just copy it and then i will paste it here this one i have to change it to sub and then here i need to write minus here here also i need to write minus now there is one thing we need to remember like uh, if self dot p is equal to 50 and m dot p is equal to 60 50 minus 60 is equal to minus 10 so definitely minus 10 is not a correct value so what we do here is uh, if it is less than 0 what we do is we will add 100 to it that is uh, minus 10 plus 100 is equal to it is 90 paise because we have added 100 the meaning is we have to subtract one rupee from the uh, rupee here so this is one more thing we need to remember now we will write one more uh, uh, overloaded method that is uh, greater than or equal to that is uh, ge which will take again self comma m here now uh, we have to cross check whether rupee is greater than uh, self dot rupee is greater than m dot rupee if that is the case we need to return one saying that uh, the first one is greater than second one otherwise we need to check whether rupee is equal but paisa is greater in that case also we need to return one here so for that reason i will take one if condition let us say that is self dot uh, r uh, greater than you can say that m dot r or 
can say that self dot r is equal to m dot r and m dot capital r you can say and uh, self dot p is greater than m dot p if it is the case we will return one otherwise we will return zero here finally we need one more method let us say that uh, def display uh, it will take one uh, parameter you can say that is self now we will write a print you can say that uh, rs comma self dot r comma you can say that by say paisa you can say that uh, self dot p here now we have done with all the methods and now we will go with the main part of the program uh, here we will do one thing we will create uh, three objects let us say that m1 is equal to money similarly we will create two more objects let us say that m2 and m3 this is m3 and this is m2 now what i do is uh, i will initialize m1 so that uh, we will have some value here m1 dot uh, set value let us say that uh, 10 rupees and then you can say that uh, 50 paisa uh, now i will display that particular m1 let us say that m1 dot uh, display similarly i will do it for m2 so you can say that it is m2 this is m2 here i will do one thing it is uh, 15 rupees 60 paisa now we have created the two objects we have set the values as well as displayed now m3 is equal to m1 plus m2 now what we do is uh, we will display m3 so i will write m3 dot uh, display similarly what i do is uh, i will take the same line m3 is equal to m1 minus m2 and then again i will display m3 here finally we will cross check uh, whether m1 is greater than m2 or not for that reason i will write if uh, m1 is greater than or equal to m2 uh, if it returns greater than or equal to this one if it returns one the meaning is uh, uh, self dot r that is the first one is greater than the second one so we'll do one thing print uh, uh, we can say that m1 m1 is greater here uh, else we will print m2 here that is uh, m2 is greater in this case so this is how we can write a program now uh, we have done with all the methods and main part of the program uh, before we test this particular program uh, we will do some changes here i will make this one as 15 and this one as 10 then we'll execute it and then we will try to see the output uh, 15 rupees 50 paisa 10 rupees 50, 60 paisa that's perfectly fine 15 plus 10 should be 15 25 that's correct 50 plus uh, 60 it should be equal to 110 110 means uh, it has to come 10 here and it should be incremented by 1 so there is a problem with this addition so we just go back and cross check it i think yeah we have made a small mistake here it should be equal to again uh, i think here also we have made a mistake so i will change it to equal to here now if i execute it uh, yeah it's perfectly fine now uh, 50 plus uh, 60 is 110 uh, so we are getting 10 here one will be added to this particular number 10, 15 plus 10 plus 1 is equal to 26 uh yeah 15 minus 10 is 5 50 minus 10 is minus 10 minus 10 is not a correct number so we'll add 100 to it to become 90 and one will subtract it from here and uh, in this case m1 is greater so we got m1 here so it's, it's working perfectly fine uh, in this case so i hope you understood how can we uh, overload the operators in uh, python uh, this is a very simple program if you have any program or any questions you can put those questions in the comment box so that i can answer those questions at the earliest if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching